welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Omar Sanzo, and joining me today is Jacob. Hello, everybody. Sadly, the pigeon isn't present today, meaning that the Virtual Squadron is probably doing its job, which is impressive considering they're probably over a hundred years old at this point. <laughs> I mean, the pigeon needs to rest too early? I mean, who knows? <laughs> And also joining us today is, well, Tara. Uh, actually, my Canadian geese are doing their job. Oh, I mean, uh, hey, everyone. How's everyone doing today? You know, glad to be back. Yay, welcome back. And yay, them geese, yo. Yeah, that, uh, that explains why they, Silver's they, not here. They can predict his every move. Yep. Uh, yes, predictable. Oh, boys. But anywho... In today's episode review, oh sorry, in today's comic review, we are going to review the My Little Pony comic Generations issue number two. Uh, in this issue, friendship, sorry, um, in this issue, friendship in Bonneville begins to fall apart as uh, Grackle and Dyer, Dyer's uh, Lackey, Black Bell, Shadow Storm, and Violent Shiver wreak havoc. Alrighty then. What a very interesting synopsis. <coughs> so, first impressions are in order, and Jacob, what do you think? Well, I don't really have much to say about this comic. I mean, beyond the complaints that have remained since the first issue, this comic's good. I mean, it's just escalation of what started in the previous chapter and goes really bad for the heroes. Not so much for the story, though. Mm, alright, alright, alright. Uh, Tara, what about you? And uh, if you would like to chime in and anything from chapter, oh sorry, uh, issue one, uh, please do so. I mean, I found this decent, like, I don't know, this is my opinion, obviously, but it's like, hey, you know, it's had some good moments where it's like, ah, oh, you know, this is happening. And it's like, uh, then this happens. And another thing, too, is that because I went through the first one, because when I started going through this and I see these two characters, I'm like, who are these two? <laughs> and then as you kept on reading, you get a general idea of, oh, they're these people? Who are these people? <laughs> yeah, I think this is something I have to ask the older generation. <laughs> okay, so um, not a uh, older generation kind of guy, but... Uh, those two seems to be the daughters of the original villain, which is kind of interesting. And Silver mentioned something very interesting too. How they hate it, they got laid. What? I'm sorry, what, could you repeat that? Like, did I hear that right? <laughs> yeah, they're daughters of the original villains. So, how the hey did they got, you know, jiggy with it? <laughs> oh, boys. That's something we didn't really mention. I mean, I think Silver did. I tried to move on. But since he's not here, uh, someone has to pick up the slack. <laughs> yeah, it's just awkward <clears throat> but, silence. Uh, yeah, that's true. Because we're just all thinking about it. How the hell? But still, uh, anything more else, Sarah? <clears throat> well, that's my first impressions. Alrighty then. As for me, I like where this was going. Um, uh, we we see that, uh, <laughs> the reveal. Oh, it's the quote unquote professors from Oxford. What I I think that's what they call something. And oh, they they're not what. They're expected, okay. So, hmm. The bad guys from the human world transform themselves into ponies? Okay, fascinating. And as we read through, sorry, as I read through, it seems that, oh, um, they're not po they're not human turns to ponies because you know how the logic goes when you enter a portal you become whatever the natives are like twilight going to uh equestria girls turn to human and so on so no 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 uh, these are other things we'll talk about it later on 
But yeah, um, the story progression seems really good. Like Jacob mentioned, uh, it's very uh, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> so anywho, if you guys have not read this comic, stop here and go do so. Welcome back. So let's start off the comic with the meeting. Yes, uh, the main six plus friends meets with the uh, teachers from the other school. They are not what. They're they're not the how to put this um normal kind of ponies that you expect to see in um Ponyville, but yeah they're there they're there, and as per usual, Pinkie Pie being the welcoming community uh, offers them cupcakes and yes uh it seems that the new ponies are not or, or don't have any sweet tooth because. They don't really like it. So after a quick introduction, um, we are introduced to uh, Violet Shiver, Black Bell, and Shadowstorm. Such All edgy names. names. <laughs> <laughs> very, very edgy. Edge Lord. Ah. So anywho, <laughs> the ponies introduce themselves and also their uh, lecture status and we see that yeah um they're they, they have to get used to their classes because there's a class of unkindness huh oh Havert okay so this where they're from all right so they're they're still at a loss because a class for kindness is not something you normally have. That's very interesting. So the well, Starlight uh, asks anybody wants to show them around, and obviously Pinky does so and shows the uh, new teachers around school. Uh, showing them the classes and so on, blah blah blah. And uh, Shadow here uh, asks, where, "Where's the lava?" And it's quickly corrected to say, "Lavery," <laughs> uh, to study volcanoes and whatnot, you know, <laughs> uh, so on. So the ponies just see each room and so on, and Pinky for her final tour gives them the teacher's lounge where they have more cupcakes oh yay and i'm gonna pause here jacob what do you think you know it's funny because the story resumes where it ended off last time where star tasks uh, the new mesh they're the bad guys and they confirm it and then they suddenly realize they just said that out loud hence the awkward silence <laughs> really Look! Look how it looks. Remember what I said last time. Oh, uh, I'm I'm trying to remember <laughs> that if they say that they're the bad guys or something. No, did they? I, I, I was just referencing the DWK for uh, oh. Equestria Girls. Oh, but the, but, oh. The, but the reaction pretty much looks exactly the same as if it was. It <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, joking aside, Pink, uh, Pink is a quick icebreaker here, although she should know better than to stuff food in other people's mouths. Oh yeah, and something you don't notice it right away, but there's just one shot of some burst in the first panel and then he doesn't appear for the rest of the comic. He's He ran away. <laughs> yeah. He ran away because they're too much pony for him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, with the n three newcomers... It arrived. The, the the third one really s stands out like a sore thumb. I mean, Violet Shiver and Black Bell are fine, although Black Bell's horn is a bit questionable. But then you got this hot topic guy <laughs> that's got the edge, just name that's ever edged. Shadow Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> very edge, very lord. Yeah. Also, hey kids, let's play Find That Redraw! <laughs> And you quickly He's... note, yeah, and you quickly notice that Pinky posts that 
that you recognize ah. it from the smile song. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, yes, this is... <laughs> this, uh, I, I hope that... You, you mentioned about it in the previous review, but I do hope that this... This, um, what you call this... Redraws. Uh, redraws are at a minimum when we go to the future. Well, I, you're going to see do. later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, of course. Uh, yeah, although I do wonder why main six are so reluctant to be guides and not think he's the only one who so eagerly jumps in. I mean, I could understand him for the Fluttershy, but I don't know why the others are so reluctant. Uh, no idea, man. It's, it's one of those things where I, I don't know. It, it's one of those things where I, I, I got nothing for you because you would think that Applejack would be the hosp, hospi, hosp, hospitable. The hospitable one, yes. Yeah. But not not the... Yeah, I mean, Rainbow Dash is a bit selfish. Rarity, yeah, I guess. Fluttershy, like you mentioned, shy. So it's either Applejack or Pinky, but not in this comic. Eh. Oh, well, it is what it is. Seriously, the Pinky needs to start learning that not everybody has her sugar tolerance, even if there are average creatures in this guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, that's all for me. All right, then. And Terra, what about you? I, uh, I like where it went so far, and I love how <clears throat> it also ends off from the first one, although you think they would notice at the end of the first comic they, where they do their evil laugh. It's like, ah, oh, these guys aren't really, uh, how do we say it, teacher material. But it's, then Pinky's like, yeah, let's uh, give them a warm welcome since, you know, they just did an evil laugh. <laughs> and I do like how they look, but I do have that edgy type as well. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's even in their names too, like... It's it's so obvious, but you know they don't know any better. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I I mean a name doesn't represent a pony, except yes. in po except in My Little Pony G four it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then but still? they even show her, like on uh, the way they look with uh, the dark eyes and the tattoo hooves, and it's like how edgy are you trying to be even with the piercings. <laughs> You know what? This is a design choice. This is a design choice to show the audience at home that, hey, there's something wrong with these ponies. Even though it's well telegraphed way back in the comics where the uh, quote unquote human ponies, uh, Greco and Dyer, were planning something. So, yeah. Um, wh why not turn it up to 11, right? I guess. <laughs> I do like, though, how um, Violet shiver one when Pinky's like, you have a little something there, and she's like, no touchy. Yeah, I mean, some people are sensitive, and I, I do like that. I, I, I do like that, because boundaries. Oh, I know it was the boundaries and whatnot, but she could have just said, don't touch me or anything. No, she says, no touchy. Is <laughs> like, was that an Emperor's New Groove reference, or... Probably? I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm not sure. But the, but the only one thing that kind of bugs me is like with what Jacob said where you can tell that some of it's a redraw from the show and it's like, so it's so noticeable. And I, I just another minor little detail, uh, I don't know, just a little thing that bugs me as well is when they show the spotlight and you could see uh -huh. the line going through Applejack and Pinky's hooves, but not through yeah. flesh. I and everyone else is like, oh, I don't know. It just bothers me because it shows that they're like behind the light, but it's like it's supposed to be on they, them. They forgot to do the control uh, tilde or something like that, just to make it go behind the layers. <laughs> uh, Photoshop or illustration jokes, haha. -ha. But yeah, uh, yeah. I want to say that doesn't really bother me, but looking at it does. Yeah, you not, see? <laughs> not that bad. It's not that bad, but still, like, eh. 
But uh, is there anything more? Uh, no, that's pretty much everything for me. <clears throat> All right, then I'm gonna continue on. So we shift to uh, Greco and Dyer. So they're doing their chores like what their mothers told them to do, and uh, they they mess up <coughs> and things get exploded. Oh you no! Know? And their little possum buddy. Uh, anybody remembers their name? Trench. Oh, his name? Trench? Yes, Trench. So Trench comes in with a letter from their mother telling them, uh, you better have... Not really better, but uh, they're just telling them that we arrived at the convention, everything's cool and whatnot. Uh, we're trying to find a cure for our ailment, but uh, nobody seems to know uh, a cure for it. And also, you better have a plan for revenge for the ponies and whatnot, blah, 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 and so on, and so on, and so on. While all this is happening, um, Trench is getting a bubble bath from uh, Grekel. Yay! The little possum is enjoying itself really, really well. So, uh, the girls decided that, okay, um, so let's think of a plan. And said plan is, let's make it real weird for the ponies and let's mm, uh let, let's go uh for some pizza yeah so after the what you call this uh teacher's lounge luncheon uh pinkie pie brought them to their rooms and it looks pretty good it looks pretty pretty nice yay uh room looks really good so they kind of hate the environment because oh god no this is what oh, this is not what we like ah uh what, what do we need to do blah 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 um shadow here can't stop jumping on beds because he wants to <coughs> teach aggressive stomping and uh they get a message from trench uh trench comes in and uh this uh, sends them well not really sense but pulls them into their master's lair to well to give a status report and also uh see plans for what they want to do so <clears throat> they arrive in the lair of the witches and uh, they say that they want to make things weird and stuff. And we now are introduced to, well, the schmooze ponies. So these ponies are made of schmooze. Remember that purple goo in G1 and also that green goo from the party with Discord? Something like that. They're, they're made of that. I think. Yes, it's very confusing. So, anywho, uh, they plan to cause um, this uh, hopelessness and despair and whatnot. And yeah, I I got no idea what to say. So, um, with, with that, I'm gonna pause here. Tara, what do you think? So this is one thing that uh, kind of confused about because I don't know these two characters. It's like, uh, so wait a minute, these, these humans? What, what? I have so many questions that probably won't be answered, or maybe they will, don't know. But I just kept going on. It's like, okay, so they're two young people that, uh, something about their moms going on a convention or something? Like, again, because I'm saying from my perspective, where I don't know anything, anything about these two or their moms. But I do like how um, the... the, the um, the smooth ponies, the room actually does look pretty nice, but you know, since they gotta be evil and edgy, it's like, I don't like this bed, I'm gonna mess it up. You'll be sleeping in it. Yeah. Okay. But I, I can't really say much because, again, I don't know much about uh, how these two characters are. <laughs> Do you need a uh, crash course on this too? I think I might. <laughs> okay, uh, long story short, uh, in the original My Little Pony Generation 1 movie, uh, they were three witches, uh, one old witch and two younger witch. Uh, they were 
the those two which were tasked to create the schmooze to kind of wreak havoc on the ponies, but uh, they did a lousy job because they forgot to grab one more element to their recipe. So they did, and uh, they caused uh, cause problems. They caused problems. So the ponies used their rainbow powers to, well, uh, strip those witches of their powers except when they're in their lairs. So when they go out of their lair, they lose their powers and so on. These two here are daughters to those two witches, the younger witches. Huh. Uh, how they got laid and brought these two to life, I got no idea. And from what we are know, uh, from from what we know, these two are uh, new characters for the series, and they are they they have never left the uh, lair. So they got no idea what's outside. They're kind of shut-ins and whatnot. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, a crash course on those two. Oh, Is it important? Know. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Tara? Yeah, just just one little thing I did like where um. Uh, see, they have such edgy names, but I keep forgetting them. Uh, I think the one's uh, Shadow Storm. Where he's like, mm -hmm. uh, I thoroughly annihilated a perfectly made bed. It's like, ooh, so evil. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, what's still? Oh, God. <clears throat> what's still? Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it for me. All right. Jacob, what about you, man? Well, uh, I'm a bit confused on what the two witches were doing that caused uh, an explosion. I mean, did they summon Trench back or something? Because the explosion happens and next thing you know, Trench is just sitting on top of one of them. I mean, back, back he didn't uh, have a problem living and returning to their dimension unless, unless they were trying to indicate that he was mm. elsewhere on the same plane. <sighs> But <laughs> then why is is it necessary for him to dementia help in the first place? Uh, you, you know, I, I, at this point, I'm just thinking that there's a certain, there's a certain method of uh, stirring the lava just to make sure that it doesn't explode because it's a very volatile, volatile um, element or very volatile thing. And if you screw it up, you it explodes. That's what I'm interpreting from this. Trench is just there for comedic timing. Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> well, <laughs> now we know though that the witches are pretty much aware that they're attacking the wrong dimension of ponies, but considering the lack of expectations that their moms have for them, they don't really seem to care either way. But that also brings in their lack of pre-planning, as they've sent the smoothies... Uh, out there to do whatever, but not being really, sp really specific what to do. So I, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I I forgot that. Sorry, I, I forgot if I read the part where they're supposed to do recon, or oh, is that trench's job? Uh, I don't know. Oh man, I, I remember reading a part like that, but man, like if I don't really remember, that, does that count? <laughs> I, I do not know. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, but basically the only one who's having a good time here is Strange over there, who's being pampered as hell. Look at that little yeah. chunky. Yeah, <laughs> chunky. <laughs> yeah, Don't but, sing yeah, it. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. no, Don't Norman sing said, what? He you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> chunky, <laughs> chunky, chunky. Chunky. Oh, God. <laughs> oh God, it's so long. God dang it. Anyway, uh, any more to add, Chico? Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. So um, let's move on to probably the, the yeah uh, probably the fun part where we see that it's been two weeks later and the student six have been in class with the new teachers and they're kind of. Um, being influenced, uh, they're being a bad influence and whatnot. Uh, 
we see that um, uh, some of the students really enjoy uh, Violet Shiver's class because she thinks she's the coolest. And uh, they, they're, they're learning stuff from them. Uh, Yo- Yona here has a um, class with who now? I'm guessing Professor uh, Professor Violet, and they they do stuff like um, curse cookies and so on, and whatever. I'm trying to re fast read here, and I don't catch much. But anywho, um, Rarity goes up to Starlight, uh, telling her that yeah um. Starlight? I, I think the new teachers are not what we think they are. They, they, they might be evil or bad. At least bad, not evil. Evil is a strong word. I think they're bad. But bad influence for the students. And uh, Starlight just says, Rarity, I know they're from Havert and they teach differently. And you shouldn't really judge them on that. How, how could you, Rarity? But anyway, I, I'll, I'll take a look, see at what they're doing and so on. Uh, thank you for your feedback. And we, we move to the um, witches. Uh, at this point, they're just relaxing and whatnot and just lamenting that it's been two weeks and the ponies really haven't done anything much to... Uh, wreak havoc and so on and the mothers are kind of well bad mouthing them and so on but anywho we go into class with the ponies and Starlight walks in uh, watching what her oh man what was her name again god dang it uh, Black Bell yes Professor Black Bell <laughs> Yes, prof- watching what Professor Blackbell is teaching. So, uh, she talks about uh, class. We're going to teach. I'm going to teach you about summoning ghosts and whatnot uh, to make the house spooky, ooh, and so on. So, uh, come in a circle. I'm going to create some kind of magical evil tree, ooh, scary. And everybody is like, ooh, ah, uh, scary tree, ooh, much evil. And uh, Sandbar just says, um, uh, sorry, um, Black Bell says, uh, think of how this would uh, startle crows after your corn or a sneaky, pesky older brother stomping in your room. And Sandbar just says, all for Nightmare Nights. I like the application. <laughs> You're going places, Sandbar. And Black Bell just says to undo the spell, simply say be gone and so on. Yay. And with that the bell rings and she dismisses the students. Uh Starlight walks in and asks Black Bell, um yo, Black Bell, um that class just now, um it it seems pretty evil and scary and black bell just says ah, your this is ponyville we we do this sophisticated thing in haver all the time and we are kind of popular so you don't worry your pretty little mind we know what we're doing and somehow there's a portal that opens up without anybody noticing it. And it's Trench handing a letter over to Black Bell. And Starlight here just, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, you. You know what you're doing. Uh, uh, let me leave you be. Okay, bye bye. And. <clears throat> Black Bell opens the letter after Starlight gets out and we see that eh, the the ponies or the witches have a plan for them. Uh, 
I'm not going to read the whole thing unless somebody wants to. But long story short, um, make the ponies unhappy and fight against each other or else they'll be turning to glue. All right, bye-bye. So now the <coughs> ponies or the shmonies uh, plan or make a plan. And their plan is pretty simple. Um, cause, do chaos. So Black Bell's plan is to have some infighting between the Hayburger store and the uh, bowling uh, alley and have uh, Big Mac and Apple Jack fight each other for the farm or not really for the farm, uh, just infighting with each other because of the farm and whatever it is. And uh, Shadowstorm's job here is to make the Wonder Balls infight and have some kind of distrust or so on. So <laughs> with that plan, they do it. They do it and it seems to work. I got no idea why it works, but it works. So we see that uh, Shadow Storm? No. Wait, wait, his name is Shadow Storm. Yeah, is Shadow it? Storm. Yeah. Shadow Storm. Wait, isn't Shadow Storm a GI joke? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me see. I am very curious. <coughs> Shadow Storm. Uh, uh, uh yeah, Shadow Storm GI oh. Joe. It is. It's the other really? way around. They just flipped it around because in GI Joe, the guy's name is Storm Shadow. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he's the Cobra agent, the White Ninja. Yeah. So I that could be a GI Joe reference, and all they did was just uh, flip the name <laughs> around. <laughs> I, I guess if you're talking about the uh, Korean actor, it does make sense. Yeah, he looks like it. Guess. <laughs> so anywho, um, he did his job perfectly, and somehow brainwashed the Wonder Bolts to um cause. Sorry, uh, cause some spite to Spitfire. Black Bell does her job. So does Violet. And yeah, uh, they're they're fighting each other. Oh no, this is bad. And somehow the students six or Ocellus or and Smolder are playing a mean prank on a pony, and they get reprimanded for it and get punished. And uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, um, and it seems that those two are not the only ones, and it seems that there's a whole class of ponies that are having the same assignment. Oh no, that's bad. So, the shmonies uh, did their job and whatnot, and report, yeah, kind of report back in to uh, Trench, telling them that uh, they did everything that they wanted to do, but it seems that the witches want more out of it. And comic it ends and to be continued in the next issue. Oh. So, let's go to final thoughts and whatnot. Uh, Jacob, what do you think? Norman, I think you need to start pacing yourself better because you just went through half a comic in that one part. Yeah. <laughs> because it's it goes, it's the same part. Like, we, we see the plan. Okay, let's do the plan. Yeah, but way, 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 way... You went way too far at uh, this point. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pro probably yeah. I should have stopped somewhere. But yes, yeah. um, I'll try I'll try harder next time. Yeah. But anywho. He got too excited. <laughs> I don't blame. But I'm looking at this picture of Gallus, and two weeks later, 
and he must be hot as hell because his face looks like it looks like it's melting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah. yeah. That being said, that probably is miffed as a rarity if somebody else was doing tattoos during my class. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. But the the whole uh, cookies that talk that uh, <laughs> what what was his name her name again uh, Black Bell that talked to Yona that's a bit creepy especially when they start screaming curse <laughs> a curse a curse on you <laughs> and once again we notice the redraw <clears throat> when Rarity is talking to Starlight and they hug. That's another shot from the, uh, what was it, Celestial Advice. Mm. The two of them or different ponies? No, well, not so much the characters. It's more like redraws of two different characters, where one different except it's in a different posi- position. The one mm. where Star- uh, Twilight hugs Starlight, uh, congratulating her at the end of the episode. Ah, okay. And uh, then we get this really, you don't notice it, but the two panels that are right on top of each other, uh, it's literally just copy-paste of the same panel, except that the students have slightly slightly different facial expressions, and the trees in the way. But you notice this, it's a a copy-pasted panel, actually. The one really, no. where, the one where Black Bell is teaching the students and shows them how to summon the shadow. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Well, it's consistency consistency because they're in the same position. No, well, yeah, but still, when when you actually compare it, it's kind of sting to the eyes. Well, uh, but uh, the whole thing. With the starlight when she went and goes to confront uh, confront the b- black bell, I have to argue that she just gave up too easily because I don't recall her being this weak willed that she wouldn't continue to question somebody's actions and methods, especially when <coughs> somebody comes to complain about it. Well, no, nobody really complains about it. It's just that Rarity well, just Rarity. says, "Yeah, Rarity just says <coughs> that her methods are a bit odd. Would you look into it?" And the way mm-hmm. that it's brushed off is kind of well, uh, how, how would I put this? It's mostly a play on her confidence because uh, Black Bell just says, "This is how things are done in Ox." Uh, not Oxford. Um, tr- tr- whatever university they are from. <laughs> so, were it's... you trying to say Oxford? No. Um, you, 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 you were saying it yeah, like that. I, I, it's <laughs> not like that. You mean? I think. <laughs> no, I think it's... you meant Havert. I like Havert. Yes, because I was thinking of Oxford. But wait, what is the pony rendition of Oxford? <laughs> no, there, there's nothing. I, I I can't think of anything. So it's Havert. Yes. Um, so that's how things are done in Haver. So that's basically what they're doing or what she's doing to Starlight. And yeah, uh, playing with that, playing with her confidence does, well, kind of affect her com- confidence. So yeah, uh, this kind of works in my eyes. But man, sh- she should have just stomped her feet and say no. This, this, that's Haver, but now it's in Ponyville or the School of Friendship. You do things my way now. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. She just gave in too, in too quickly. We, we all know that Starlight, well, how, how do I put this? She never just leaves things lying down. But that being said, uh, when the smoothies start, uh, get the letter from the witches, this is where you start seeing the frustration that they have from their moms. And spill it on to them as they use the same words to try and spur them to act. Mm. Yeah, did did notice that too. Did notice that too. Yeah. But I, but you got the hint. This means that their plans to cause discord amongst the popular and populace definitely looks better. Uh. Well, uh, hold on. Uh, who's black? <laughs> 
smooth it, smoothies. No, 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 yeah, whose plan? Uh, compared to. <laughs> Yeah, well, compared to what G5 will and did, <laughs> because it actually involves destructive actions and pinning the blame on somebody else. Man, I got no idea who's the villain for G5 is. Well, let's not waste thinking about it because we're not gonna get anywhere uh, any <laughs> answers anyway. Mm. Yeah. Well, but then I have to uh, complain that when st- uh, I did notice this uh, now when. Uh, after uh, Ocellus and Smolder pull a prank and Starlight calls him into their office, you notice that the artist made the office from when she was a student counselor at the, at the school, but now she's a head mayor. And technically, we didn't have a shot of that. And honestly speaking, I, I can forgive her for that because uh, we we tend to forget that aspect and when we see this shot, oh yeah, that's Starlight's office, that's right. But then we forget that this is after uh, yeah. Twilight's coronation, technically. True, true. But still, we haven't had a shot of that. So, as the artist, like, I'm guessing when she wrote this or when she drew this, uh, it's before the ending. So, they have to play it safe. Play it safe? Yeah, play it safe because, well, spoilers and whatnot. Uh. <coughs> right. <laughs> but then we have Starlight looking like she's about to pop a blood vessel. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> but yeah, the ending's pretty much foreboding, showing that it's just gonna get worse from that point onward. Yep, yep. And for me, it it was one of those things where I want to know more, so I kept reading. So anyway, uh, is, are you done, Jacob? Yeah. All right. Tara, what about you, man? I I really liked it too. They, they like, uh, I mean, it's it's typical shtick where it's like, huh, something is very odd, and then you know they report it, and it's like, okay, well, I guess it's not that bad if you put it that way, and. It's like, I don't think, too, when it came to uh, the two witches, yeah, it's like, at this point, like, that's just my opinion, but I just kind of got annoyed of reading through their part, because every time you come back to them, Mm -hmm. they always talk about how, oh, they hate the ponies, and, you know, mom did this and that, and we gotta get revenge. It's like, okay, you said that in the previous part where we we saw you, now you're going over the same thing again, like, can we just move on? (laughs) Did, Did you read the whole thing, or do you just read one and two? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, uh, for generations. Like, did you read uh, issue one, two, uh, until five, or just one and two? Uh, just one and two. Ah, I see. Okay. All right. Because... Then, um, oh, sorry. sorry go ahead. No, 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 you ahead, first. No, 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 you. Uh, <laughs> because uh, th- those things that they mentioned, like, um, oh, we, we need to do blah, 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 mom, because blah, 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 mom, 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 mom's... Because I, I think it's hammering the point in because like they, they want you to know that hey the girls are feeling like this because of this and so on um yeah that's what i feel because that's that's how they're trying to present themselves and at the same time too these two i think are kind of ocs But anywho, Tara, anything more? Yes. So another thing too, actually, that um, I guess you could say I was in Starlight Glimmer's position here because when she had the whole talk with Black Bell about how she's teaching things and whatnot, I honestly didn't even know Trench passed that letter until you pointed it out. I'm like, wait, he passed the letter? Since when? And then I looked back in the comic, I'm like, oh my God, there's a portal right there. And I didn't even <laughs> notice it because when I first went through the comic and then I see when Black Bell's like, enjoy your day, head man. It's like, wait a minute, where'd you get that letter? And then looking back at it, when, you, when you're going over going and you see Trench, you're going through the portal, giving the letter. I'm like, oh my God, I did not notice that. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what, after that, I'm like, oh my god, I feel like Starlight Glimmer now. <laughs> you, 
<laughs> Starlight Grey was still wondering, uh, like, wait, what? There's a portal? I didn't know this at all. <laughs> but then you think, where where'd you get that letter from? Like, you didn't think you'd see the small little paw or whatever, just all of a sudden, bam, random letter on top of the desk. <laughs> But she was she was looking down to the floor, dejected. Uh, that's so true. She wouldn't notice. Mm. <sighs> but still, uh, I, I, that made my day. Yay! <laughs> yeah, and then there's the two more things I would like to mm-hmm. point out. One is that pretty much what Jacob said with how they basically copy and pasted from one panel to another. Like what he said with the tree and they're circling. It's like, oh, yeah, there's no tree, and then all of a sudden, ooh, there's a tree. And then another panel that caught my eye, where it's basically like copy and pasted, is near the end where it trans- appears through the portal, and you see him like you know just sitting there with arms crossed and everything. And then later on, when you look at the next panel, he still has his arm crossed, and they almost have the exact same position, just different face- facial expressions. And it's almost like yeah, they're trying to rush it at the end with hey, we're just gonna put little uh, facial expression bubbles here for Trench. Honestly speaking, there's no there's no difference between trenches pose. Uh, trenches is cute, so uh, I I am not gonna say anything much about him. But it, it was very interesting about where they were going and how they planned it all out, and how Spitfire got easily uh, angry when it said Spitfire stinks. Although this is another thing I would like to point out when the mm-hmm. announcer's like, uh, you know, they're opening up the today's show with some sky writing, and he's like, and I see an S, A, P, and then when they finally spell out, it's like, where do you see an A and a P? There's, oh, wait, no, never mind. I scratched that. There's a P right there. But you don't see <laughs> an A. That's why it's like, where do you see an A? Nah, I, I think that's um, scripted, you know? <laughs> <sighs> But I, uh, I do like how they had this all planned and there's a few moments that I kind of was like, ah, it's, you know, they copy and pasted it and just, you know, but it, it was decent for me, in my opinion, with this comic. All right. All right. I, I do hope you keep reading because it gets very interesting as it goes on. Yeah, I mean, another thing, too, that uh, Black Bell could have done, like, I understand, you know, you had to say something that remind, uh, reminds, rhymes for your spell, like, you know, here to me, form a tree. So I, I get it. And it's like, huh, you know what? Norman can uh, do a spell of his own, where it's, uh, you know, conjure, conjure, here to me, uh, take the form of some money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You just need to form a circle and then you're good. Yeah, uh, you no. Know, uh, God damn it, brain! Stop doing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as as for me, this comic is pretty interesting. Like the continuation of how these ponies or uh, bad guys came to be, uh, what's their task and whatnot. It's rather tame at first. You see them uh, do mo- practically nothing much until they start class and you can slowly see that they're slowly influencing the students and here, here's one of those interesting things usually when a bad guy does a plan or whatever it is uh, it's quickly rejected by the masses but here in this comic the students are eating it up they they are enjoying their class and um what uh, um um person turtle backside name is i forgot his name god damn it sandbar yes <laughs> so San- sandbar just says um i i did these tattoos during uh professor rarity's class uh, and they're like wait what y- you're you're doing that and the students are enjoying it, and then uh, they bake cursed cookies and so on, and the students are enjoying it, and so are the other students. The main six are more obvious because they are kind of the quote unquote stars. So, I I do like the plan here because slowly influence the masses through their youngins, and as time goes on, you influence the whole. Um, school which 
later on you'll see that happen because yeah yeah so yeah um i can't wait to s review issue three because that's going to be a cool one yay so with that um yeah that's that's it for me so let's wrap things up if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at dimitrogmail.com you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at NBA Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, Jacob, where can the good people find you? You can find me on the Dirigan Tart under the username Yaka von Tolkar, under the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading uh, Story Tremor Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an, orig an, uh, an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in a medieval fantasy setting, Called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the Tales of the Ashes dot com. Awesome, awesome. Go check it out, guys. And Terra, we can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on YouTube, DeviantArt, Twitter, or my Patreon page, where even the smallest donation matters. <laughs> Yay! Have you been uploading recently? Uh, like. Did one last week, I believe, with a montage of me and Silverquill getting uh, tortured. I um, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, go go check. Not it. in that oh. way. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> go check it out. It's, it's interesting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then I did a live stream last night. Oh, so there's oh. that. Let's do on I, the YouTube's. Uh no. <laughs> oh, on where is that? It, well, it was on YouTube. Sorry, it's just not ah. there no more. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah. All right then. All right then. Go check it out. Check it out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's slow, so slow and steady videos will be get going. Just you know, with working and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Um. In the pre-show for the Patreons, we we talk about Terra coming back and whatnot. And yeah, uh, he he's he's busy. Um, new job, new setting, and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, I haven't fully left the MBS show, but when I can, I will attempt to make it for a recording session. <laughs> yeah. Just want to point that out there for you viewers. Yeah, we miss you. It's been almost what a year plus the pandemic and so on. Wow, that oh, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like it's in, it's even affecting the digital world. That's not right. It's affecting the Digimon. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh god. Anywho, also please subscribe to us on iTunes YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitch radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on moneylife.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank you, Jacob, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Myself Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm in your cup. And I am the Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.